Hey guys, Sergeant Mushroom here for you with another out of the park tutorial. So today we are going to be going over how to modify your team home screen in perfect team and your team home screen and manager home screen in perfect or uh, in base game. I'm doing this in perfect team, but it is the same thing in base game. You will have the same default uh, home screen layout in base game as you do in perfect team and you could modify it in the same ways as well. So of course we have different slots here for different things. We have our standings in the top left, our team batting leaders in the second spot, team pitching leaders in the third spot, your team roster down here in the middle, your division graph on the top right, your team schedule on the bottom left, team stats rankings on the bottom, and who is hot and who is not on the right side. In order to adjust what you're viewing, and you can do this to move around things on your screen, or you can do it to uh, see different screens. So I'll first adjust uh, the screen and then I'll show you guys new things. You just simply hover over the top bar right here. You scroll down to what you want to put and then you click it. So I'm going to move team batting and pitching leaders over one slot here by uh, selecting team batting and pitching leaders in their respective slots and then put my standings graph right here where team pitching leaders was. So now I have this reordered in a way that I think suits me better or just a way that... Uh, I wanted to put there. If you want to readjust it, you can simply go down to standings and then team batting and pitching leaders where they were before. If you wanted to view something else, let's say your last game, you can select that button right there and then it'll pull up your last game here. It will give you a summary with your scoring, uh, certain home runs, who got the win, save, loss, etc., and other important features for that game. If you wanted to see your team history standings graph, you can pull this up and this will simply show you how your team has done over the last 10 years in the standings. If you wanted to see your schedule for the last or the upcoming week, the current week you're in, you can pull it up with that page. If you wanted to see your overall roster, which is over here, you've got that. If you wanted to look at your finances, uh, in perfect team, this is only going to show you your attendance, but in base game, it's going to show you all your financial information. You can pull it up with that selection. If you want to see who's hurt on your team, you pull it up here. Obviously, no injuries in Perfect League, but uh, you do have those in base game. If you wanted to see uh, how your team ranks against everyone else, you have this down there as well. You can pull that up. If you wanted to see your minor league system, you can pull that up there. Again, this is a base game exclusive option. If you want to see who your top prospects were, who your top players are, those are options as well. Uh, how your team at each position ranks versus your league, you can pull that up. If you wanted to see how your team has done historically, who your top players have been, there is that option as well. Your team staff and your staff chemistry and cohesion are available to select as well. So you could view just about anything you want. A lot of these options are really gonna be more base game focused than perfect team, but you could still mess around with it in perfect team. There are a few things, and of course you can adjust how uh, you have your setup if you want to view things in a different location. So really, uh, it is just a click the thing and then select what you want type of deal here. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about all the options, be sure to reach out to myself or out of the park developments, and we'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, until next time, guys, I hope you do well.